What is going on YouTube? Lamont at large. Today we are at the Good Ground Cemetery here on Long Island, New York. I was on the phone with a buddy of mine about a couple weeks ago and she asked me if I was going to go visit the grave of Greg Giraldo. And I was thinking to myself, I said, Greg Giraldo, who's that? The last name sounded a little familiar, but I just couldn't put a picture to the name. And she said he was a comedian. And I was kind of clueless. So I Googled his name and it was this guy. And as soon as his picture came up, I said, oh, of course I know that guy. I was shocked to have learned that he died. I couldn't believe it. Oftentimes in my videos, when I do certain stories on people, I hear that in the comments quite a bit. I didn't know they had died. So Greg Giraldo was born December 10th, 1965 in the Bronx. And let me say this. If you don't know who he is, well, he was well known for uh, doing those Comedy Central roasts where he would just <laughs> destroy like other people, their comics, just making fun of them. All, you know, good natured comedy you know and before this guy was a stand-up comic a very very talented and funny stand-up comic he was actually a lawyer he comes from a very good family and uh, he was a good student throughout the entire uh, his entire uh, high school career if you want to call that probably wrong word for that but you know what I mean and uh, he went to Columbia, he, he got a BA, and get this, this is how clever and smart a lot of comedians are and that we don't even know. This guy went to Harvard Law School to be a lawyer. Not only that, when he took the uh, their version of the SAT, he scored in the top 99 percentile. So this guy is a very, very intelligent person. Now, he was a lawyer for a while. He graduated in 1990, so he was a lawyer for a little bit of time. And I guess he had friends that were comics, or maybe he was doing stand-up in between, um, you know, him working as a lawyer or what have you. And uh, one of the guys that he defended in court was uh, Jeff Ross. Jeff Ross, he's been around for a long time. That's a funny guy, too. I guess Jeff got into a little bit of trouble out of... Uh, nightclub or something like that uh, in uh, Long Island, something about a gun or whatever. So he defended him in court. Now, eventually, this guy just quits his job as a lawyer, figures out it's not for him. So he starts doing gigs and stuff in and around New York City, Long Island, all that stuff. And then he got discovered when he was doing some kind of a festival uh, performing up in Montreal. If you don't know this guy's name or face, this guy has, first of all, again, hilarious guy. And he's done uh, quite a number of uh, Comedy Central specials. Uh, he never um, made it big in terms of, like, television. I think he had a couple pilots that he filmed and shot that uh, nothing came of them. But uh, this guy has been on numerous uh, late-night talk shows, uh, Conan O'Brien, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Jimmy Fallon. Some of you might recommend, uh, excuse me, recognize him as uh, one of the judges on the uh, season seven of Last Comic Standing. So this guy was very, very successful. And going back to the roast, uh, you know, basically you go on stage and you make fun of whoever the roast special is about, like Bob Saget or or Lisa Lampanelli or who knows anybody. The special's about you. You have a bunch of different comics come up and just completely destroy you, completely roast you. And uh, many people would say he was probably the best one to ever do it. If there was a roast special that was being filmed for Comedy Central, if that guy was not a part of it, I don't know what the heck they were thinking. Now, you know, Greg has battled his demons like, you know, many people do, many comics do. Um... With drugs and alcohol, uh, there was a time where he remained completely sober uh, in his life because he seen that alcohol was having a uh, effect on him and his family's life. 
So around September 25th, right around there, 2010, he was set to perform uh, here on Long Island. It was some kind of a uh, benefit uh, recognizing uh, people with addiction problems and uh, realizing that there is a light at the head of the tunnel. So he didn't show up for that uh, engagement. Okay, something maybe happened or whatever. Maybe his buddies thought that he went on a bender. And then later on that evening, he was set to perform over in New Jersey. He didn't show up there either. So his friends got concerned and they went to his hotel room, which he had got in Jersey. And they found him in his room. I guess the term is unresponsive now. So they called uh, 911. They came and got him, took him to the hospital. Uh, but he remained in a coma for about, I want to say about three or four days. And then uh, on the 29th of September uh, 2010, uh, they decided just to let him go. And uh, he died. He left behind a wife and three children. Very, very funny guy. If I do say so myself. And uh, I've listened to plenty of this guy stand up, you know, when I used to drive a taxi in Las Vegas. And uh, he definitely made the time go by. And uh, this is his grave right here. Gregory Geraldo, December 10th, 1965 to September 29, 2010. Beloved father, always loved, forever remembered. And some fans left some artwork. To Greg, oh captain, my captain. When I first see this picture, I could not believe he had died. I, it was surprising to me. And so long ago, too. And, uh, you know, when he did comedy, that was at a time where, you know, you could make jokes about people and things were funny. Nowadays, not so much. Not everything is funny anymore. Now everybody gets mad. Or not everybody, just some people. Few people get mad. It's all jokes, guys. We got to learn to take a joke. That's what bonds us as uh, humans is that our differences could be laughed at instead of you know, us, uh, you know, living in different neighborhoods, only associating with our own kind, our own people, comedy and sports brings us together. And when you laugh or make fun of a certain uh, thing that some people do, it's funny and people laugh. And when you learn to laugh, you learn, you learn to, you know, share differences and differences of opinions. And uh, that is uh, slowly fading away, sadly. So, uh, rest in peace to Greg Geraldo. My condolences to his family. <sighs> okay, guys, I am out of here. But before I leave, we're going to have a little discussion. I want you guys to tell me in the comment section either your favorite comedian or your top five favorite comics of all time. They could be people that did stand-up comedy, or maybe they did uh, TV shows or movies or what have you, a character, whatever you want to say, huh? They were on the radio. Uh, my top five would be uh, George Carlin. Uh, I'll say Don Rickles, old Bill Burr, not the new one. Old Chris Rock, not the new one. And I got to say Dave Chappelle. You know, Dave Chappelle... He was funny 10 years ago. I didn't really care for his TV show, but I'm not going to lie. That guy's funny, and I give him credit that he's gone against the grain. He's gone against, you know, offending people. And that guy is so big, so huge, nobody could touch him. But, uh, and I got to give a special shout out to uh, Don Irera. That's a comic that I've followed ever since I was a little kid. He's a funny guy. He's, he's ne I mean, he's big in the comic comedy world but not mainstream I think and last thing if anybody says if anybody says that Gabriel Iglesias 
is their favorite comedian. Please explain to me why. You're going to have to give me a three-page written essay on why this guy is so funny to you. I don't get him. He's the I'm fluffy guy. I'm fluffy. I don't get it. But that's the beauty of uh, comedy. Yeah, sure, maybe I don't think he's funny, but you do. And if you enjoy his work and he makes you happy and you want to go see him perform live on stage, more power to you. Uh, Variety is the true spice of life. But I still want that uh, written essay ASAP. All right, guys, it finally stopped raining. The sun will be out tomorrow. And uh, it was an an accidental uh, drug overdose uh, was what uh, happened to Greg. And uh, yeah, just uh, another talented individual that made people laugh that is no longer here with us. All right, guys, be good. Let me know in the comments. Peace out.